Hey everyone, so in this tutorial series as you read the title, you will learn on how you can add ads to your game um, inside Unity. So we will be using Unity ads and now Unity ads are using Iron Source SDK for implementing the advertisement in the game. So the first thing you have to do is note that I'm using 2021.3.18 version. Now for using the Iron Source SDK you have to have at least a 2017.2 version or above so that's a relief because everyone i think uses 2018 version because it's the most stable version so far um, now you have to go into the build settings and change your platform to android because ads are only supported on mobile devices and in this video we will learn to do it for the android so in this part one we will only integrate the sdk in inside the unity and the reason why it is its own part because there might be some bugs you might face so if you face any problem do mention down it in the comments below i'm here to help now once we are done with that our platform is changed to android next thing we will do is we will go to is.com which is ironsource.com from unity as you can see so let's go ahead and log in if you already have an account or you have to create an account if you don't so now you can just ignore everything which you can see here uh, your page will be blank and it will ask you to create a new app you can but like hold your horses because we are going to go to knowledge center and inside the knowledge center as you can see we have iron source sdk monetization so let's just click on iron source sdk we'll first now let's click on get started now over here there are a lot of steps but we'll just skip this one we'll go to next step now we, we do have to come back over there for some reason for a particular reason by the way um so okay we don't uh this is the page we need now over here as you can see there is a note which says 2017.2 plus as i said uh from reading from here so api level 16 plus uh we'll look into that now click on this link download plugin and after you are done downloading it it is a unity package as you can see over here this is the unity package that same one so let's open up the unity and after you are done downloading it we are now going to import it inside our unity so inside the projects panel over here right click you can import package custom package and then just go to the desktop and as you can see integration manager let's open it now don't deselect anything let's keep everything and just import uh, it is asking us for a resolver a mobile dependency resolver which is very important so we'll just import it and now i think there is some new thing about this resolver that it can auto resolve itself whenever we make change which is good uh, it was not before but it is now so now it is trying to resolve it but i don't think it will uh, just to wait for a few seconds and as you can see it's giving us win32 exception so just click on this x mark uh, go to the console and as you can see this error uh, will fix that now so this win32 exception it is asking for this gradle.bat file so there is no fix yet but we can create this file i mean there is not fix from unity side there is a uh, like local fix for this which works um so let's just copy this gradle.bat file actually you know what uh let's first take this path till over here till gradle okay because uh, that's where we need to like put this file so let's just copy it till over there uh, let's open up the file browser and let's plug it over here 
now as you can see we need that bat file over here um, I'll just minimize this and the name of the bat file is this so uh, let's keep this window like this now in my browser I will give this link in the description now this link was from another YouTube channel so credits to him uh, I was able to fix this when I was doing this for my project so let's copy select everyone with ctrl a ctrl c to copy it and now let's go ahead and open this the directory where which we copied from over here as you can see this um, now let's create uh, let's go to file browser okay so let's create a new text document um, let's keep it like this for now let's paste it let's cut it let's save it now we have to rename this file uh, also if you don't see the extension with yours make sure like file name with extension is checked or else it will always remain a text document so just go into the view file name with extension and now we have to rename this file so what do we name it we have to name it exactly what it is shown over here uh, or else your computer won't be able to find it so let's control c to copy it gradle.bat now let's go inside the there now select everything cut it paste it now gradle w.bat let's enter it now if you don't see this message then you definitely ha haven't like changed the extension because now if you change the extension the file may be unusable don't worry about it just click on yes and now we have our gradle over there so now all you have to do is clear this error message go to your projects and right click uh, re-import now it will take some time to re-import everything now we also have to reload it uh, okay and now as you can see it suddenly jumped to 2% which is great now it is resolving the dependencies uh, it will take some time depending upon your computer performance um, so till then what you can do is uh, let's keep this out there okay so after that uh, we have to use integration manager okay uh, I hope it's done 27 percent also one more thing uh, you might also get some uh, error related to Java uh, I'll just show it how to like correct it okay it's done so now sometimes you might even get uh, an error uh, but detected jetpack and rx libraries and even jetpack. okay this is just some no it's not an error it's just something that is giving okay so if you get some kind of java error um do one thing install java in your pc from their official website and the first thing you have to do is uh, go to your cmd now it is not complicated we are just checking if we have java installed in it so java and just type it version now as you can see you need java version 1.8 dot anything it will work so everything is fine now go to your environment variable just type in env so edit system environment variable now this will only work for windows i think um, now in the advanced click on environment variable um, and if you go down in the path if I can find it okay, okay there there it is the path okay now go to now when you install Java just install it in the C directory so if you go into program files Java JRE okay so this is the or you can also go into the binaries okay so go over here copy this uh, we are copying this file path because our Java application is just right over here so we need it 
we need every of the applications that it has over here so in your environment variable again this path select it edit it and create a new one and just paste it over here now the thing is i already have it so if i just could delete this yep thank you so it already has mine as you can see okay 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 and it now you have to like um cut your uh, project and reopen it and after you are done um you can go to assets resolver and just click on resolve again okay mine is already resolved uh, but we also have to make changes to uh, if you go into the integration manager so next step is to unity integration manager it is recommended it so we are done with the step one now let's do the step two now go into your unity editor add mediation if your sdk is successfully installed in your unity editor you will see this tab over here now let's click on integration manager as you can see ion source is already installed now you have to click on unity ads now as you can see we have a lot of mediation options even google ad mob is over here uh, we won't do that right now uh, i'll see how to do it in future okay um, so let's cut this now it, it is resolving automatically because i have selected automatic resolve but if yours doesn't uh, you have to go in asset now let it resolve i'll just show you how to resolve it manually okay great so i'll just show you how to do it manually again go into assets mobile dependency resolver android resolver and if you just click on resolve again resolution successful great um, or that window will run again if your isn't resolved so we have successfully did everything we just need few more steps and it is done installing in our um, editor so next thing is uh, we can ignore this the gradle users okay uh, next next thing is we need to yeah step 4 the additional setup for android now the api level stuff which i told you yeah we have to do the correct that now so let's just uh, we have to copy this and paste it somewhere so where we need to plug this into the manifest um so what we will do is um let's go into our editor click on edit project settings i guess in project settings i think it was in editor no nope 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 it was in player settings uh project settings then go inside the player uh other settings and over here um custom manifest i think it is in the publishing settings okay here it is custom menu main manifest so let's just click tick on it now can you see main manifest and it is asking us to plug that this or in the main manifest as well so we will just copy this uh, convenient button over there um and now let's go into editor again uh, we need to go to this file path um and to go over there let's open this in explorer uh, do note that i'm clicking on this asset and show in explorer so from over here we need to go to asset plugin android asset plugins android and as you can see android manifest android manifest let's open it huh, xml editor okay um let's just open it in visual studio I don't know how would it look or would i be able to edit it or not so again this line of code all we are doing is something related to this um so that android manifest after the i think before in between this line before application starts 
let me just check if I'm right. Okay, so before application starts, we will paste it over here. Yep, and we are done. Uh, you can just close this and don't forget to save it. Okay, we successfully made changes to it. And now for Unity 2020 recommends. Okay, so now for if you are using 2020 and above, we also need to change some Gradle properties. So again, we can find it over here. Custom Gradle properties. Yeah, it was this one. Um, oh my God. I should have just disabled this auto thing. Again, open this in Explorer. Now we have to go inside the assets, plugins, Android, and then Gradle template properties. We have to find it. So Gradle template properties, we'll just open it with our notepad. Mm, yeah, open with. Let's open it with notepad. I should have click that okay so over here as you can see additional properties so we just need to copy this one and plug that over here now let's save it and close it and that's it you are done with the integration part so now your step 4 is done step 5 is manual integration now with this package manager they we already have integrated it so we don't have to follow the fifth step we can directly skip to the sixth step um, also for iOS there is another uh, iOS manual integration okay it has its own SDK um, so we are done now all we have to do in the next part I think I'll do this initialization and stuff uh, because then we can just add rewarded binary and interstitial ads uh, by the way, uh, Iron Source also offers you the offer wall ad, but for that you have to like get authorized or something. Uh, I'm still not authorized for some reason. I don't know when they are going to do it. But in the next video, we will make a new app over here. Also, do make sure that you uh, go to Unity dashboard and log in over there. So if you go into Unity Hub and go to like developer dashboard, you have to make an account over here as well so if you don't have an account create an account and then sign in now i'll just sign in into mine now i already have an organization and stuff so as you can see this is my publisher's account and all so make a publishing account and then just keep your login over here okay we'll make an app over here as well so yeah so that's it for this tutorial that's how you like integrate uh, sdk of iron source in your unity project in the next video we will see on how to give the banner ads so for that please do subscribe like and share this video uh, next video will be uploaded soon so thank you so much for watching hope you learned something new or hope this video helped. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.